It's always a pleasure to have you join us for all the exclusive updates and um, content and videos, exclusive videos we bring you about Ghana football, Black Stars and everything here on this channel, Sports 7 GH. It's always a pleasure to have you. Now, legend of Ghana, um, legend of the Black Stars, Asamwajan. Yes, Asamwajan has been speaking about Nigerian star, also JJ Okoja. We are going to bring you that particular details and um, if you see a legend speaking beautiful about another legend, legend then it means that look um, in fact the african football produces top quality players and uh, we are going to look at what asamoja had to say about jj coach on super sport now uh, we will also move on and talk about other issues including um, the sports minister appearing before parliament of ghana today to reveal the amount of money um, ghana spent on um, the FIFA World Cup 2022 as we um, reached the group stages. Yes, we are going to review the exact amount of money the Ghana um, Ministry of Sports spent on the Ghana Black Stars and the whole um, FIFA World Cup um, as we reached the group stages over there in this particular video. Please do all to subscribe to the channel. If this is your first time watching us here, hit the notification bell and select or like this video and leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section. If you have any, let me know your thoughts, views, comments, opinions, and especially on the Asamojan issue as well as um, the amount of money the Black Star spent in Qatar. Let me know your views in the comment section of this particular video. But a uh, Moroccan journalist, okay, as far as I'm concerned, by name Khalid Beydoun has brought us um, brought out an information that is very very intriguing and very very interesting now his information is that the entire moroccan team decided to donate all and in fact the all is in capital letters all of the award cup earnings to poor children and families in morocco a team of the people oh, wow that's that's absolutely uh, brilliant all of their um, World Cup earnings so it means that all their bonuses they are winning um, bonuses and per diems and all of that if they pay um, they donated all of that to the poor Wow so what did what did these guys really play for just their country just the love for their country and to achieve great things for their country it's remarkable to get an african country and in fact to get players do this for their country and um, i'm very happy that moroccans did this one for their country over there congrats to them and that's why in fact you do a lot of great things if you donate to the poor and that is a very very important point that everyone must note over there now let's speak about the 2022 world cup sports minister yosef mustafa reveals that ghana spent 5.1 million dollars in qatar yes <laughs> 5.1 million dollars now and um, before the world cup the ministry of sports budgeted that we are going to spend eight million dollars in qatar out of the nine million dollars we are going to receive from fifa and then after the world cup today the minister appeared before parliament to um talk about the world cup and how things went and all of that and he revealed that they spent 5.1 million dollars instead of 8 million dollars that it was initially estimated if i'm just to read some snippets of the things uh, mustafa yusuf said at the parliament house the, um, he said look our estimated budgets okay at the group stage was 8.1 million dollars he said in parliament out of this estimated budget Mr. Speaker, our total expenditure for the group stage participation amounted to $5,171,840 dollars. These expenditures covered appearance fee per diem, flight arrangements, medicals, equipment, logistics, and hospitality. Mr. Speaker, the reason for the surplus of three million after our exit from the group stage is the result of the ministry's prudent management prudent management of resources as well as the ministry's decision to negotiate on qualification bonus for the next round instead of paying reigning bonuses 
per match. What this means is that in spite of our blasters defeating South Korea in our second group match, we did not pay any bonus for that match. And that is um, the reason why we saved a lot of money over there. So, in fact, that is what the minister, sports minister said. He says that, look, we're able to save about $3 million because of prudent management by the sports ministry and that um, we agreed with the players to pay qualification bonus and not winning bonus. And that's why when they won versus South Korea, they didn't get anything. They only got the appearance fee for the tournament and per diems. And that, um, do you think the ministry has saved money or anything? Because at least you can get some $4 million to do legacy projects. And he talked about that in, in parliament, that he is going to do legacy project, Qatar 2022 World Cup legacy project um, in Ghana here and, and all of that. I don't know if it's, uh, look, let me, I'm just presenting you the news. So um, that is what the minister is saying. Let me know your thoughts, views, comments, opinions in the comments section of this particular video i will be very glad to hear from you now let's talk about asamwe jan asamwe jan as monitored by ghana soccer net has um is marveled by Okocha's skills insist he is one of the greatest of uh, he's one of the greatest okay not of all time so he's one of the greatest footballers so asamwe jan was speaking on super sports according to this particular write-up I um, was speaking on Super Sports in one of those um, commentaries uh, about the World Cup and all of that. And he insisted that, look, JJ Okocha is one, he's one of the players who is the greatest on the African continent and even in world football and his skill set and everything. Um, he has done very well for African football, for Nigerian football and all of that. And that he admired JJ Okocha a lot. So let's get exactly what Asamojan said over the JJ Okocha is one of the great one of the best players africa has ever produced that is true because look his skill skill and his skill level was out of this world jan said on super sports tv i remember i was watching him when he was at when i was at school he's one of the greatest players one of those guys who opened the way for us those guys who were pl playing at that that time and you could see ronaldo on the bench he was up there he was up there he was one of the best and i am happy to see him play his skill level was great i saw him in the world cup with nigeria and all of that yeah jj kota and jan were pandit on the south african super sports during the world cup so those are the things um, as Jan said about jj kota and it is in no doubt that the skill level the skill of jj kota I mean, in fact some people compare him to the ronaldios and them look even the the white guy the, the the english people the western world see jj kota and they appreciate him for his talent and skill level and quality so it's not surprising that an African great in the shape of Asamojan is praising JJ Okocha as one of the greatest the um, Africa has ever produced and that is never in doubt. I don't know where you are watching me from Nigerians. I, I would like to know your views, thoughts, comments, opinions about this particular one in the comment section of this video over there. Now, thank you very much for staying with us for the updates we brought you today. Please do want to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and select all. Like this video and leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section. It's always, always a pleasure to have you join us. Bye-bye.